Good morning, everyone. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have command you, commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew t- chapter 28, verses 8 through 10. Jesus told the 12 apostles to spread his word so that all those who heard and believed would serve him and be saved. I am one of those who are fortunate enough to be able to know and learn about God. I believe that God has called me to be one of his disciples. I have already been baptized, but at that time I would not have known God's calling for me, nor would I have been able to fulfill it. Now that I know that God has called me to follow him, I will forever accept God as my father, and as his child, I will worship and praise him in all that I do. God loves me. He uses the blessings he gives me to do his will, and he will use me to do his will in the future. God loves me. God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to be crucified, then to resurrect from hell and to ascend into heaven so that I can be saved from eternal death and live with him forever. For the same reason, he created the the sacrament of holy baptism. To be reminded of my savior, he also gave me the sacrament of the altar so that I can receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ himself to cleanse my soul from sin often. God has given me these wonderful promises because he loves me, his special, unique creation. I am unworthy of saving, yet he still chose for me to live with him forever instead of the devil. God loves me. God uses the blessings he gives me to do his will. God has bestowed upon me many blessings that allow me to be close to him. These blessings, such as the Lord's Prayer, Confession and Absolution, and Communion, create a way for me to be forgiven of my sin frequently. Through the Lord's Prayer, I can ask for forgiveness through a simple prayer. Through confession and absolution, I can confess my sin and repent to God, and he will surely forgive my sin in return. Through communion, I am not only forgiven, but I receive the life and salvation of Jesus Christ himself. God uses the blessings he gives me to do his will. God will use me to do his will in the future. Through my statement of faith, I confirm that I believe that God as the Holy Trinity, as my creator, as my Lord and as my savior, is the one true source of all life. He put me on this earth for a sole purpose, to love, glorify, and serve him. I confirm that I will continue to answer God's call and fulfill my purpose. Even though I do not yet know where this path will take me, I trust that God will arrange everything in my life for a reason. I will continue to learn and grow as his child for as long as I live. God will use me to do his will in the future. God loves me. He uses the blessings he gives me to do his will, and he will use me to do his will in the future. He made a way for me to enter heaven even though I don't deserve it. He blessed me in many ways so that I can do his work on earth, and he will lead me in a different in different ways to love and glorify him and serve him. I believe God God created me for this specific purpose, and because he has done so much for me, I will answer his call and become the person he wants me to be. I believe that I am his disciple, and I will follow him forever. Thank you. Good morning. <clears throat> what do I believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, who made heaven and earth, whose name is to be kept holy. The will of God is that his name be kept holy and that his kingdom come. That is, that his word be taught correctly, that sinners be brought to faith in Christ and lead godly lives. God is gracious and does so many things that we need, such as food, drink, clothing, shoes, house, home, land, animals money, goods, a devout husband or wife, devout children, devout workers, devout and faithful rulers, good government, good weather, peace, health, self-control, good reputation, good friends, faithful neighbors, and the like. 
God wants us to help others and be Christ-like. He does not want us to be selfish, but to share with those who are unable to work and to include them in our prayers for daily bread. And when it comes to those who have sinned against us, God wants us to be holy and wants us to forgive and to do good to those who sin against us. Because when we forgive others, it shows that we truly do believe that God has forgiven us. In the Lord's Prayer, we ask our Father in Heaven to give us strength to resist and overcome temptations. I believe in Jesus, true man, did things that only God can do. The angel Gabriel went to the Virgin Mary and told her she will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. He is called Messiah because, in Hebrew, it means the anointed. Jesus has been anointed with the Holy Spirit without limit to be our prophet, priest, and king. I know that I know and trust in Jesus Christ as my only Savior from sin, death, and the devil, and believe that he gives me eternal life. Jesus is my Savior who has redeemed me, a lost and condemned person, purchased and won me from all sins, from death and the world's sinful nature, not with silver or gold, but with his body and blood, which was shed for us so that we may be able to live, that we may be able to have eternal life and be with him forever in heaven. Jesus knew his job and place in the world because when his time came to die, he took it. He was beaten, but never denied that he is the true son of God. Pontius Pilate even gave him a chance that if he said that he wasn't the son of God, he wouldn't have to die because Pontius Pilate knew that Jesus was an innocent man, but Jesus didn't because of his love for us. I also believe in the Holy Spirit and everything that the Holy Spirit does. By nature, I am spiritually blind, dead, and an enemy of God, as the scriptures teaches. Therefore, I cannot by my own strength I can, or reason believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, or come to him. That's what we need the Holy Spirit for. He guides and helps us so that we don't fall away from the glory of God. The Holy Spirit, through the word and sacrament, freely gives to Christians the most precious gifts, faith in Christ, the forgiveness of sin, and eternal life. The Holy Spirit has called me by the gospel, enlightened me with his gifts, sanctified and kept me in the true faith. In the same way, he calls and gathers, enlightens and sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth and keeps it with Jesus Christ and one true faith. Not only does the Holy Spirit bring us to faith through the gospel, but he also helps us to understand the gospel. He also helps us to pray and resist the devil. The scriptures show that by the gospel, the Holy Spirit enlightened me with his gifts. That is, he gave me the saving knowledge of Jesus, my Savior, so that I trust, rejoice, and find comfort in him. That's all we must tell others about Jesus. And if we are not confident in our ability, then the Holy Spirit will help and guide us to say the words that will help us reach out to others. For all these reasons, this is why I'm glad I'm being confirmed today.